So. Tell me about your SEO expertise in house. How are, how are you guys managing that technical aspect of it? I mean, who, who's the expert? Well, Kyle, Kyle would be the expert on that. Kyle is the expert on the SEO. He's the one that's going through everything and making all the SEO decisions and the strategic plans that he has. So you would obviously meet with him and actually he is right here. Oh, hey Kyle, how are you, man? Good, how are you doing? It's been like, what, five years or something? Yep. I heard my name, so I was like, shit, Alex is talking about me. I better come here. <laughs> the video thing, that is that is difficult. Do you hire a local video guy here? No. Or do you always fly yours around? You know, that's... We prefer to handle it all ourselves. And then we have 100% creative control over what we shoot, how we shoot it, what's the storyline for everything. So that's how we prefer okay. to do it. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, man. Take care. You too. So there's, there's one other aspect I want to run past you. We talked about me and the video and stuff like that. So I do have a long-term strategy with this business and that at some point obviously is going to include selling the business mm -hmm. five years, five years. I don't know what that is. Yeah. So I have this concept of building a brand for myself. My concept is to get into some sort of video podcast of talking to small manufacturing owners, not just tours, but how the hell did you get into this and how are you doing this and what are you improving and build an entire brand around that? Is that something that you think would, that you would be able to help me with too? Oh yes, we would definitely. I mean, that's what Kyle did. The reason why MFG Tribe is as successful as we are is because of him is because of how he created that name brand. And that is something that he would definitely be very hands-on with with you. If that's something that you were interested in is creating that because he, he's gone through all that. He's already made the mistakes. He's, he knows what works, you know, that kind of stuff. So he can always point you in the direction of where to go next. Cause he's done that. And he, that's where we get most of our businesses, people coming, they don't know MFG tribe. We want to work with Kyle. And you never know. That's the thing. You know, you could do something. You could you could do everything that Kyle's done and blow up ten times more than him. You know, it's it's one of the things where you have something to offer, and you know you do. You have something to offer to people. They are going to listen, and they are going to to want to engage with you and stuff like that. I don't really want the notoriety, but I want to build a brand. So when I do sell the business, yes got something else to keep going that's not day-to-day -day manufacturing crushing me, but I'm still involved in, in manufacturing. I'm very passionate about it. It's going to be a push for me to make that happen, to get comfortable. And so uh, yeah. I'm looking for someone else that too. Yeah, yeah, and that would be something that I would definitely, um, obviously, leave to Kyle because he's the expert on that one, but it's something that he would definitely be able to guide you through. He He's very knowledgeable on the stuff that he's doing and it's real easy to talk to him and learn from him and stuff like that. And he's yeah. he's just a very relaxed guy. So. so we have very aggressive growth plans, both through organic and uh, acquisition, but we do intend to, to uh, double the business in two years, uh, three years. So that's going to take very smart growth and very smart marketing and not just growing everything we can edit. I want to be really strategic about things and and I will also ask a lot of questions. I like to know, well, you said you want to do this, tell me why, because I don't understand why Google says that you got to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. And the challenge I think we have with the other marketer, although he did a really good job, I really don't have a lot to complain about. It was just a lot of education with somebody who's got some experience now and has other industrial companies. I'm hoping to cut down on some of that explanation time a little bit. And that that is one thing that we take pride in is that we don't have to do those, you know, te teach us, you know, what you mean by this kind of thing because our writers have been in technical. They understand, you know, the, the lingo, the key terms, you know, those those small little things. Yeah. So that's what we enjoy. And also the fact that we have Kyle who's our, our at the helm. He, he was in that, he was in the sales world. He knows how all that stuff works. He was, he was in the machine shops. He was doing all that stuff. So what's next steps for you? How do you propose getting me an idea of the scope of the work, the cost of the work? What, how do you want to go to the next step there? So I'll create then I'll create two separate proposals for you then. All right, well, good. Send me some proposals. Let me take a look at them. I'm sure some questions will pop up. We'll try and do them by email, but maybe we'll schedule another call. Then. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll send the proposal over. I'll probably have it to you early next week. Fair enough. Perfect. Well, it was great talking to you, sir. Have a great rest of your weekend. And, uh, Appreciate it. You take care, man. You as well. Bye-bye. So what do you have to say after your sales call? Hey, that was my first discovery call, guys. That was a little nerve-wracking, as you can tell by how red my face is. <laughs> but...
I'm feeling good. We have a, two opportunities, two companies on this one discovery call turned into two companies. So there you go. That's how it's done.